to my channel welcome to another video today to my subscribers thank you for being here anyway today this video in this video i'll be talking about um having a health insurance or a life insurance health insurance is very good our life insurance it's very important right why i'm saying this is because in this life saving is a part of living and life is so fragile nowadays it's so fragile as a queen someone passed away tragically or naturally and sometimes there is no and critical illness too not just debt but um having a life insurance critical illness <clears throat> plan is very important because sometimes sickness just creep up on you and you don't realize it and then there is no money at all right there is no money at all to take care of the health i agree that critical illness is not insurance is not something that it doesn't cover all sickness but at least the major ones you can survive you can have some money of, of, of a critical illness plan when you have that insurance critical illness plan and you're sick depending on the sickness that you have and you use you use that um life that critical illness plan and go to the hospital and you are able and you are able to you are able to um claim that money and use some of it for the treatment of whatever ailment you got and then some is left for you to use by your medication to go and live off until you are feeling better having an insurance is very good especially in these times where life is so fragile i never when i was small growing up i didn't know that life was this fragile until i turned an adult because life was good when i was little life was always good because when a person passed away it's like every year somebody passed away not every week every year and it's not like it's yearly and every year either it's like leap year well for 10 years straight i don't know no one passed away 20 years straight no one passed away that i know but life now is getting so serious and drastic all that um people are sick people are dying rapidly and then there is no money to bury that person so sacrifice from your earnings and have an insurance problem there for you if you having an insurance you do you check out how much and you pay it put aside a little while say this little much this little five thousand dollar this is for my this five thousand dollar this is for my health you may say oh but i'm not gonna sick nobody know when they're gonna sick so how you gotta do is have this critical illness plan this life insurance and put it aside and you can do the life insurance with the one that has saving and investment in it right because you have some insurance that you do some of it carries some of it carries um a thousand dollar out of it going to saving for you uh, you can invest that in your uh, retirement and so on so you have this go to the insurance company and you put in your app ask questions ask question you don't have to have a payslip to have an insurance you can you, you don't have to be employed with a company to have an insurance as long as you are not you are able to pay the insurance you can get an insurance card you don't have to have, have a job salary self-employed persons can pay insurance because people work and don't get payslip it's not everybody work and get pay slip on a payroll account but they work but at the same time you can still have an insurance right 
you have to do your due diligence and put aside these things is very important if you don't have any children to put on it use a friend if you don't have any friend use your mother if your mother is not alive use use a friend because not everybody has family some of us are lonely people some of us all say oh i'm so lonely there's some of us don't have any children we don't have any sister we don't have any brother we don't have no cousin some of us come from a small family which like your mother and father only has you your parents don't have any father their, their mother and father only have them so it ends up come down the ladder that it's only it's called one dropper one dropper family so eventually you make born and when you take a stock you have no kids or you have one kids and your child might one child and your child might be deceased and when you take a stock now you are alone so when you find yourself in a lonely position you are to seek a friend before you need a friend somebody would say oh i don't need any friend sometimes friend is more better than promising than your own sometimes friends is more promising than your own believe it or not a lot of people in this life because i know of a lady one time and that lady is deceased and eventually that lady she has two kids two children but eventually what happened was the children this did not pay her any attention you know who pay her attention or two friends those are two loyal friends and I always pray and i said oh i wish i could find two loyal friends like this lady this lady was so her friends were so genuine to her you can find a pax god to help you to find a genuine friend and he used that genuine friend as your insurance trustee that person will once they are genuine and confidential they will ensure that your liability is taken care of right having a trusted friend because sometimes you can adopt two children or you can as i said you have two nice genuine friends that look out for you and once these people are looking out for you you are good so having an insurance and worse when you are young when you are a young person you're working these are the things that you have to put down on the chalk line put down these as my vision as my goal you count on your finger i need to save at least a thousand dollars the lowest i'm going per week that means you divide it by four that's four thousand you divide some months carry like may and june those weeks months carry five weeks so you know that is five thousand dollars and you put this aside for saving your insurance have as a goal my i need an insurance that is a goal number one goal number two goal i need a horse is not everybody can buy a horse Bloop. you can save towards a home as i tell you in my previous video about how you go about getting your own home through the nht or through a loan bank through the bank all these things are possible so in order to achieve these you have to have a goal a specific goal and a specific mindset so you said bam i need an insurance for myself insurance life coverage for myself you sacrifice and pay those things bam you i need a house and you're gonna put down put down some money if you're getting twenty thousand for the month you're gonna put down at least five thousand out of that for your goal that you have in mind i'm gonna because a shelter is so important the most important thing in life away from food is shelter because you see when you don't have a shelter over your head that calls your home and give you comfort it don't have to be big a thousand room it can be just a one room a kitchen and a bathroom and you're feeling comfortable in it a shelter to put your head at night when it's cold 
is very important. That's the most important thing you can have in life. Having a roof over your head, having a shelter is a must. You don't have to be eating lobster and fish, the biggest shark in the sea. But you see, the shelter to save you from the night weather is so important. So you need a shelter. That one is so sure like a debt. So debt is sure, that's all life insurance and a housing is sure, a house is so sure. So you're going to put aside and say, oh, this is my house in my previous bag, I state the process. Or you should go about gaining your mortgage in my previous video. So you want to as a young person, because when you achieve things when you're young, it's more profitable. When you achieve things when you're young, it is very profitable. When you achieve a home in when you are in your twenties or thirties or forties, it's very profitable because guess what? You're able to relax. So when you said, Oh, I need my house put over my head, you feel so comfortable. When a house is clean and there is no furniture. When a house is clean and there is no furniture in it, it is so good. It is so good to feel so comfort. Me especially, I feel comfort into a house when it's clean. So you know the house. So they go my goal. I need a house, which is important. I need to have an insurance. I need to have a little money in the bank. And in order to get this little money, it's not how much you're earning, it's what have you done with it. It's not the amount of money that you earn, is what you have done with the money that you earn. So you're going to have said, I'm going to, I'm going to budget for savings towards a home. I am going to budget for a little insurance, life insurance and critical illness coverage for my body. You're going to budget again for your car, budget for your education. Yeah. These are things that you need, you, you know, you just get up and bloom. You have to pencil out your life and think about your life and remember that life is fragile. Having an insurance, having a life, having good friends. I don't mean a friend that is going to call you and carry down the road to party and carry downtown uh, to buy a, um, carry down, take you downtown to buy the latest gear dress or the latest pants or the latest tights or shorts to put on or the latest shirt because I want to go to party tonight or the latest clocks you're going to sit down and think about your future because I'm telling you the day pass and we don't see it the day pass and you don't see the day pass by it passed so rapidly and so quick so you got to I've told all these things to my children I don't know if they believe but I have told them this, that having a shelter, having savings, having life insurance, worse if you're a girl child, worse if you are a girl child, you need to have money. Be independent, work. Don't ask nobody for nothing, just work. Save your money for good use and then you will be alright. You will be alright as long as you put your money to good use and and put your money not to use with the Bible tell it those that put their money to use are foolish so this is the goal and, and and as I tell you seek a friend before you need a friend I do seek a friend before I need a friend that is why I can give these advice right now because I have always seek a friend before I need a friend believe it or not people said I don't like friends it's not all friends are evil some friends are genuine because me personally, I'm a very good friend to keep. Yeah. Very good friend to keep. So, have this in perspective. Save a lot. Sacrifice. Put away something. Especially having a life insurance and put it aside and tell your trusted friend. That make a little will and say, this is for me. In case anything happened to me, this is what is going to take care of me. Put it aside and say, this is what going to be taking care of me right that's what you want to do you have to have a plan I've always have a plan and i realize this life of ours it's very very fragile you know what i'm saying so take my foolish advice 
and please for the in the last video this last segment of my video i would like i'm begging you all to share my videos tell a friend to tell another friend tell your relative to subscribe like share comment on this channel right my phones were giving me a lot of trouble recently and i found out a way so i bought some memory cards so those memory cards are helping me right now so i guess my, i will be able to do my videos i've lost some videos that i had i don't know how i'm gonna restore them but i've lost some videos but i'm going to do my talking and encouraging video i promise a lot of story time and i've not forgotten i'm still gonna do them but be safe and take care of yourself and um do what i say don't do what i do but do what i say think about it